Hello and welcome to my Scratch Mini Guide series. This is episode number seven and this is all about why I really dislike the Forever Loop. So let's get into it. So I've got a blank Scratch project set up here and um, we can do anything we like, anything we like. But I'm just going to do something very simple and let's, um, let's say, let's get our Scratch animating. So let's go into control, let's grab a Forever Loop. Let's go into events and grab a when green flag clicked and we are going to say move 10 steps and we are going to say if touching the wall or if touching the edge we're going to turn around. So if uh, sensing let's grab a touching the edge and if we're going to touch the edge then we're going to turn 180 degrees. Okay. Now this, when I hit play, will just get our scratch going back and forwards all the time. Okay. Now this is a very simple thing that I've done. I've got him just moving 10 steps and if he touches the edge he turns around. But I've not thought carefully about when I want him to stop. Okay. He's going to do this forever. And this is quite a sloppy way of programming because actually there might be a condition that I want to happen when he, uh, to, to stop him from, or stop the cat from moving. So let's think about this in a more particular way. So let's imagine that um, he gets a point every time he touches the edge, okay? So let's go into variables and let's make a new variable and let's call it points, uh, okay? And we're going to say that we're gonna set points right at the start to zero and then down here we're going to change points by one every time we touch the edge. So now you can see that here, every time we touch the edge nothing happens because I've not changed this to points so let's uh, let's do that properly. So if I change this to points okay and hit play okay now he is bouncing around and he is going. So now what I want to do is if a certain amount of points are reached during the game I want this to stop and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my forever loop, so I'm going to go to control, I'm going to replace this with a repeat until, and I try, I really beg you to try and think about your code in terms of repeat until's rather than forever's, okay? When do I want this code to stop running? Well, I want this to repeat until, um, let's say points is equal to 10. Now I'm doing a lot of things here that you might not have seen before, but it's all relatively simple. So instead of forever now, I'm saying to repeat this action all the time until a certain condition is met. And that condition here is our points are equal to 10. So now when I hit play, okay, Scratch will bounce from side to side and he'll keep going until it gets to 10 points. And that's really important. I've put a condition in there that will stop him from moving. Okay, here we go, 10, stopped. And that is the end of the code. Now. The points might not change every time he touches the edge. They might change every time I click the mouse. So let's do that. Let's do um, events. Let's do, can we have when the sprite clicks? Let's do, uh, let's do when space key pressed. Yeah, let's do it, let's keep it simple. When space key pressed, we're gonna change points. Okay, so let's imagine there was something in your game that was um, counting the amount of points. I'm just going to press the space bar, but you could imagine this might be collecting things or killing enemies or um, uh, finding kind of rewards, but we'll just do this. So if I hit play, now points aren't going to go up while he is bouncing off the walls, but every time I hit the space bar, it's going to go up one. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he will keep bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and bouncing until those points get to 10. And that is when I want the game to end and I want him to stop in his tracks. So I'm gonna try and get him to stop in the middle of the page. So here we go, there we go, lovely. And I stopped him right there in the middle. And that is why you should use repeat until's rather than forever's because they will make your game so much better, so much better. So um, that has been Mini Guide 7. Thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Sweet.